Rhaenyra's secret plan will change the dance of the dragons forever. When we talk about weapons in the Game of Thrones universe, we usually think of dragons or swords. But the most important resource in an army is people. What would happen if Rhaenyra decided to use those people that the Hightower have despised for so long? Those people who grew up without a surname, but who carry the blood of the dragon in their veins. In this video, we will be talking about Rhaenyra Targaryen's secret weapon in the second season of House of the Dragon. The Dragon Seeds. Do you want to know what or who they are and how they will change the dance of the dragons? Then stay tuned to this video. And for more videos from the Game of Thrones universe, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Welcome to the Three-Eyed Raven. One of the reasons Alicent deeply despised Rhaenyra was because her children appeared to have no legitimate father. Alicent claimed that the princess's children were illegitimate and had no right to anything in the kingdom. The disdain for people born outside of an official home comes from the religion of the Seven, as well as the honor that the families of the kingdom are supposed to uphold. As Alicent was an honorable woman and fundamentalist in her beliefs, she treated those supposed bastards as inferior people, even though they carried the dragon's blood in them. As the dance of the dragons begins, Alicent Hightower has more weapons and more dragons, making her very strong. But Rhaenyra Targaryen has a plan that Alicent would never expect. In Dragonstone, there are many wild dragons that no one has tamed yet. These dragons are dangerous to the people, and to other dragons. There are dragons like Vermithor and Sheepstealer, who have no one to ride them. Rhaenyra realizes that they have more dragons than they can use, because they don't have enough riders. Then, she comes up with an idea that Alicent would find terrible she decides to ask all the secret children of the Targaryen and Valerian family to come, tame a dragon, and join her side. And this could change everything in the war. Secret sons who manage to ride dragons are known as dragon seeds. But what exactly are dragon seeds, and how do they come to join the Queen's troops? Let's first define what exactly is meant by the word bastard in the Game of Thrones universe the noble houses of Westeros usually agree to marriages, to continue the lineage of their houses, and make good political decisions for their benefit. In the case of the Targaryens, marrying between members of their own family has helped them consolidate power for generations, as well as taking care of that quality that the Targaryen have for riding dragons. However, the Targaryen are often prone to promiscuity, or at least this is what we are shown in House of the Dragon. Most of the men who went to war, as they thought they would not return home, used to sleep with other women. Some service women, or others they fell in love with during the battle. Also the sons of the noble houses looked for servants or women in the villages to court. These women would not be their wives, but would satisfy their needs at the time. The result of this was as expected multiple pregnant women with children who would never be recognized. But these children inherited the qualities of their fathers. Now that Rhaenyra and Alicent's sides are at war, Rhaenyra will seek allies to get more dragons on her side. This is where the story of the Targaryen's illegitimate children comes in. With the death of Viserys, Daemon and Jaceris will begin a search for bastards with Targaryen blood capable of riding dragons. These could earn their Targaryen or Valerian surname if they win the war against Alicent. This is Rhaenyra's secret weapon, and something Alicent not only never imagined would happen, but is also almost an insult to her. Ever since the birth of Rhaenyra's first baby, who did not bear the Targaryen's signature silver hair color, Alicent has been badmouthing Rhaenyra and trying to get her to lose her position, as she considers illegitimate children an insult to the faith of the Seven. Every child Rhaenyra had, according to her, was a major offense to her marriage in the realm. And rather ironically, the Dance of the Dragons is defined by the kind of people Alicent despised. Time proved Daemon right, 
and the time to fight and confront the high tower threat has come. The dragon seeds, pivotal in the development of the Dance of the Dragons, will play a vital role in this battle. Rhaenyra Targaryen, at the head of an impressive army, will lead these troops with skill and courage. She will face other dragons, using her cunning and experience in war. On the other hand, Daemon Targaryen, a key ally, will be dedicated to attacking directly at the heart of House Hightower. With strategy and force, he will seek to capture strategic locations throughout Westeros, which could tip the balance in favor of his cause. For years, Daemon Targaryen remained calculatingly calm, his dark thoughts focused on a single goal, revenge against the powerful House Hightower. The death of his brother King Viserys marked the end of his patient waiting. This pivotal event unleashed in him a burning desire to unleash a wave of fire and blood across Westeros, seeking justice and retribution for past affronts. His once calm mind now seethed with war plans and strategies to overthrow those he considered his enemies. Alicent Hightower, meanwhile, was in a precarious and complicated position. The death of King Viserys had not only shaken the foundations of her world, but had also left her caught in a web of intrigue and conflict. She saw herself as a victim of circumstance, caught between her son, a king who displayed alarming cruelty and irresponsibility, and her former friend, Rhaenyra, who had now become a fierce enemy, sworn to destroy everything Alicent loved. Alicent, known for her many virtues, is a complex and multi-dimensional character who also possesses a darker side, especially when it comes to protecting her family. Her protective instinct can lead her to take extreme measures, suggesting that she will not stand idly by while the battle rages. Her ability to be ruthless in defense of her loved ones is a trait not to be underestimated and could play a crucial role in the coming confrontations. Let's not forget that she is the only queen we have seen in Game of Thrones, who attacked another heiress with a dagger. The question that arises is how the High Tower and the Green Side prepare to face the Dragon Seed. These new Dragon Riders will be the big surprise in the second season. But let me know your thoughts in the comments. And for more videos from A Song of Ice and Fire Universe, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Before I wrap up this video, I want to let you know that the videos on this channel are based on both the Game of Thrones and the House of the Dragon series, as well as the books by George Martin. If you want to learn more about this universe, I'm going to leave you our affiliate link in the description, where you can order the books or their audible version. And if you like the official t-shirts of this channel, you will also find the link to our store to order your favorite piece. Thank you for your support. And if you like this content, I invite you to become a member of this channel. Each contributor will see their name at the end of all videos. And for more videos with theories, news, and stories from the Game of Thrones universe, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. You are on. The Three-Eyed Raven.